Hey there, it's Dan and Damara again. How are you? Um, so excited that you subscribe to these videos and that you're on video number three. Um, this is actually, I think, one of the more important ones to understand, and that is energetic hygiene. Because we can be all connected to the moon and we can sit at our altar and pray and meditate, but if our energy's off, everything's off. So um, we are going to talk a little bit about energetic hygiene today. And I can just be honest and tell you that I've been practicing energetic hygiene before I knew that there was actually a coined term for it. <laughs> um, so lots of ways to do it. Let me explain to you why, first of all. One is that the moment you wake up in the morning, you are susceptible to outside energy forces that are beyond your control. Um, the minute you walk out the door, forget about it, you're done, right? Like you're just bombarded with other people's stuff. Um, that's why for me, meditation in the morning is important. Meditation at night, important, so that I can kind of bookend my day. Um, you ever feel, uh, for me, I feel really different when I drive across the Golden Gate every day. I drive across that bridge every day. When I'm in the city, my energy's amped. I feel more like alive, more awake. Um, and then when I come across the bridge to Marin, immediately I exhale. It's like, and uh, it's neither one is good or bad. Uh, it's just um, something that's noticeable. My energy shifts. So begin to notice your energy. Notice um, how you feel around certain people. Notice how you feel doing certain things. Um, we want to clean our energy. We want to make sure our energy is our own energy and not somebody else's. And that's super easy to fall into, especially if you're a yoga teacher or you work with people, you're a healer, anything where you're working with other people, you are susceptible to their energy, okay? And, and just going out in the world, you're susceptible to it. So um, I'm going to share with you uh, ways to clear your energy. The other thing that um, is important to note is that um, we're not only susceptible to other people's energy on a daily basis, but we're also energetic beings and we hold energy sometimes. So like if I'm upset about something or I'm angry about something or um, something's sitting and I don't have the opportunity or I think I don't have the opportunity to let it go, it'll sit there as congestion and it might just sit there for a while and then that festers and that can create illness and disease. The other thing to think about is old energy, ancestral energy, like things that have been passed down to you by your mother or your father or your ancestors, um, anything like that. It, it, you, you hold other people's energy and um, you choose to for whatever reason. And so sometimes we recognize it as supportive or not supportive, and um, I'm gonna give you some tools to move into what's most supportive for you. Um, so here's some ways to clear energy, okay? Just suggestions. So the uh, very first thing I do when I wake up is I sit at my altar, and I light Palo Santos, uh, or sage, I've been known to actually set off the fire alarm super early in the morning, which no one gets excited about, but <laughs> certainly amps our energy for the day. Um, so I'll light sage or Palo Santos and, and just kind of go around and then make sure it's put out, uh, sit down, breathe, um, use the sandalwood. I had mentioned this in the last video, so uh, sandalwood is very thick oil. You can just put one drop in. It clears the third eye. So uh, I ask as I'm putting this on my third eye, uh, can my intuition please be cleared from anything that is um, an illusion? It's really that simple. Um, and then, you know, asking ourselves um, in those moments of silence, um, can I create a sense of clean energy around my physical being? And so. I'm also a Reiki master, a Reiki practitioner and master, so I teach people this process. 
Um, and I do Reiki symbols. When I walk into the studio before I teach, every time I imagine the Reiki symbol so that everybody in the room is um, as clean and clear as possible. I uh, send Reiki energy to myself every day. I'm just asking for clarity. And sometimes asking for clarity and clean energy can mean an upheaval, by the way. <laughs> doesn't mean that I wake up every morning and go, wow, I'm so clean and clear. It's like sometimes there's some bumpy roads to get there. Um, burn sage, salt, uh, palo santo, she can do it around your house. I, I mentioned it in the last video, but please be sure that when you do that, you have something underneath it, like a, a shell, uh, so that you're not uh, dripping um, ashes around the house, right? And then always, always put it out. And do whatever you do, do it with intention. Do it in silence. Do it quietly, right? Because it's sacred. It's a sacred ritual. Um, um, the other thing is to practice yoga or any kind of movement every day. So our bodies are these dense things, right? And we get stuck. And so when we move, the body wants to move, which again, this could be for another video, but it, it's always interesting to me that we sit in a car, uh, we drive to work, we sit at a desk, we sit in a car on the way home, and then we sit in front of the TV. Now, of course, I know that's none of you. Uh, and, and we also we also educate our kids to sit in a desk all day, and then we wonder why they're loopy when they get home. Well, because they're not supposed to be sitting, they're supposed to be moving. Um, so we want to move that energy. So move your body. Yoga, breathing, dancing, running, hiking, biking, I don't care what you do, swimming. Just move your body, okay? And then also a bath and a shower um, every night. So you're like washing your body off from whatever's clinging to you. Now some people may say, what about when we're in a drought or isn't that a waste of water? Just be quick, right? Just be quick, quick. Um, Epsom salt baths are great. I try to take an Epsom salt bath. In an ideal world, Epsom salt bath would be amazing every night, once a week, but maybe every lunar cycle. It's kind of nice, right? Um, and then I have some uh, fun little things I would love to share with you that a friend of mine, uh, Melissa Cordova, who's involved in our teacher training and is a friend and um, just beautiful human being, uh, she shared some things with us that I'd love to share with you. Uh, one is, okay, pay attention to people in your life that, um, and, and, and how they make you feel, right? So if I come up to somebody and energetically right away, I'm like, ooh, this feels tight. I may immediately energetically put a, um, a, a translucent bubble around my body and only allow this person in, no matter what they're saying, what they're doing, what's happening, to like right here. Now some people may be all the way out of here, <laughs> um, but I don't wanna block them off with like a steel barrier, but I need to put something around me to protect me. So it's just this energetic like, what? right? Kind, loving, rose quartz color is always nice because it's a loving energy. And, um, then you can continue on the conversation or whatever's happening. And then rooting your feet down into the ground through Padabanda. So just pulling in that source energy, filling yourself up from the earth, protecting your energy around your body so that whatever's happening outside of this bubble is, is happening outside of the bubble and has nothing to do with you, right? And then the other one is, um, Melissa taught me this, is to place one hand, I believe it's your left hand over your heart, and then your right hand in front of you kind of turned away. And there's some space and you say uh, something like, I am Dana, you are so-and-so. 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 And obviously don't say Dana, say your name, right? Um, and very important to say your name and not I am me. This is me. Don't say me, say your name. So the universe hears your name. And just put that person energetically, you're pushing them away, kindly, lovingly. Thanks for the whatever, thanks for the lesson, and I'm cleaning my energy, <laughs> okay? Always let go with gratitude. 
always create space with gratitude, never with anger or anything like that, because it's all that's going to do is create ickiness. We don't want ickiness. Uh, the other thing is, um, especially for those people who touch people all day, um, assistants in yoga classes, yoga teachers, healers, you know, I'm constantly doing this. I'm constantly washing my hands. I'm constantly using, I use uh, On Guard essential oils on the hands almost all day long. Um, and easy way to break energy. So you, let's say you assist somebody in a class, right? You can rub your hands together and then kind of just cut it, drop it to the floor, fling it to the floor. Don't fling it around, just consciously. Remember everything's a ritual, right? It's a conscious like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Mm -hmm. okay? So breaking the energy before you go and touch someone else. And then uh, here's another one from Melissa that I, love and I do this every lunar cycle I'm not kidding so thank you Melissa we do this in teacher training too so um, so you don't need a whiteboard you can do this in your journal so I write this in my journal uh, every lunar cycle or as necessary sometimes I can't wait for the lunar cycle to do this so basically you draw these circles right like this and you can do as many as you want uh, ritual Ritually speaking, uh, 108 is beautiful. It's a meditation, really. And then you put yourself in the middle. Now, I put myself always as a heart. Always. So there I am in the middle. And then all these are like um, fields of energy around you. Okay? And you want to think about the people who are in your life. Right? And you want to go, hmm, who do I want close to me? And so maybe you want somebody with the initials of TM, which I don't know anybody, TM, I'm just making it up. TM is two shades away. Maybe over here, super close, I want somebody with the initials AL or IL, real close. Um, somebody maybe over here, I want way on the outer circle, yeah? And then somebody who you just have got to protect yourself from for the time being. It doesn't have to be forever, but maybe you need to gather yourself for a little bit. You need to breathe, right? Maybe you need to put um, somebody way out here like this. And again, don't put them out here angry. Thank you. Can you just be over here for a little while? And energetically, you'd be surprised. This process brings those people in closer to you and puts those people away from you like you you can't even believe it it's um it's really powerful so i'm really grateful to melissa for uh sharing this with all of us this was really great um so yeah that's uh that's what i got um it's a beautiful thing to recognize that we have the power to protect our own energy and to share our energy the way we want. And this becomes really powerful. I, I, I talk to teens about this every now and again when I can, just about sharing our energy um, sensually too. You know, this isn't, this isn't just um, energetic hygiene. We are, we're deep beings. And so we wanna make sure that we're um, being as clean and clear as possible why? Because we want to be divinely guided. We don't want to wake up at whatever age or time in our life and go, where the hell am I? <laughs> why am I doing this? This isn't what I wanted to do. Right? We want to live our life in a way that's um, connected. Yeah? So that's all I have for you now. Um, the next video, I'm going to talk a little bit about different tools you can use and why. And remember, you don't need them. They're just fun. Um, so uh, I hope you listen in. And uh, thank you so much. I'm so grateful to you for checking in. Mm, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And remember to get a hold of me. It's just Dana at DanaDemar.com. Have an awesome day, you guys. Namaste.